Hi everybody, welcome back to Making Stuff with Mrs. Brody. I'm Mrs. Brody, and today we're gonna make some mittens. So we're gonna be using a pencil and tracing our hands, because that's the perfect mitten shape, and we're gonna be working on patterns. So when we talk about patterns in art, it's anything that repeats. So my pattern could go blue, red, blue, red. My pattern could go stripe, circle, stripe, circle. Anything that repeats, is a pattern. And I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can do it with the supplies that you probably have at home. All right, let's get started. All right, my friends, this is what you are ultimately gonna be making. You're gonna make a pair of mittens on your paper. And you can see that I used my own hand to trace and make my mittens. Now, I was being fancy and I traced my left hand and I traced my right hand because I'm old and I've done this a lot and I'm pretty good at tracing. But if that makes you nervous, you could trace your right hand and then just trace it again. You could trace your hand and then turn your paper and trace it again. It's up to you. I would recommend definitely using a pencil. You're gonna need one of those with your paper. And then I'm just gonna use my um, Crayola markers that I have, but you could use watercolors, you could use acrylic paint, you could use Sharpies, you could use colored pencils, whatever you have and makes your heart happy, okay? So first we're gonna talk about tracing, then we'll talk about patterns. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm not gonna put my fingers apart like this, I'm gonna put it together on one side of the paper. So that leaves me room for my other hand. So I'm gonna put my hand like this, all my fingers are together, and I'm gonna be very careful. And I'm gonna trace around my hand just like this, and I'm doing nice light lines. So if I make a mistake, it's easy to fix, okay? So this ended up kinda pointy, because I have pointy fingers, but I want it to be more round, like a real mitten. So I'm gonna be very light, and I'm gonna take my line and just try and make it a little bit more round on top. So it looks hopefully a little bit more like a regular mitten. And again, I'm using light lines so I can erase them later. And then I'm gonna bring it down a little bit because you always have that sort of wrist chunk on your mitten that helps it stay on. So now I have the outline of my first mitten and I'm gonna erase the lines that I don't need. Now, as long as you did it light enough, if you don't have an eraser for some reason, maybe your marker colors will go over it. But I am gonna use my eraser and get rid of my nice light lines. So now I have mitten number one, look at that. Now I can, again, trace my hand like this and have another mitten. I could turn my paper so my mitten's going the other way, or I could trace my right hand. But I think I'm gonna turn my paper because I think that looks a little cool. So again, all my fingers are together and I'm gonna learn. Last time it got a little pointy, so as I trace around my hand, maybe I leave my pencil out a little bit and make it a little bit more ovally. And there's my second mitten. So again, I'm gonna bring this part down because I do need a wrist part, right? I'm gonna trace that line, make it a little bit rounder. And there's my thumb. Does it have to match the other one exactly? No, we can pretend that maybe grandma made these mittens and she made them a little bit different, right? Okay, so now I have my mittens. I'm gonna trace mine in black just so you can see them. You don't have to do this part, but it might help you see the outline a little better, especially if you didn't use light lines and you have too many pencil lines and you're getting confused. Look how pointy this marker is. This is like a brand new, never been used marker. That's pretty sweet. Okay, there's mitten number one. Now, if you look at my example, I have patterns on my mittens and I did them a couple different ways. So my one on the left, I filled all with color and the one on the right, I left some white and that's okay. So my pattern over here is I made a dark blue, light blue, dark blue, light blue, dark blue. And then I made little, I don't know, we'll call them like lacy things on the dark blue. I did it on each of those. I put some dots above the dark blue line. I used some skinnier lines next to the light blue. But whatever I did, it repeated, it was a pattern. So same thing over here, I did an orange, red, yellow, red. Orange, red, yellow, red, orange. And I made the pattern the same on the thumb of my mitten as well, okay? You could do polka dots, you could do triangles, you could do stars, whatever makes your heart happy as long as it repeats. And I liked making lines across my mitten because that helped my pattern stay a little bit organized. So I'm gonna make some nice light lines that go across my mitten and across my thumb. 
Okay, and again, I could use black and go over those, but let's see, what color did I use? Oh, let's use some purple. So I got a big fat purple marker. So those of you that have different materials at home, when we color, you wanna make sure that we color in one direction, nice and neat. And I like to kind of outline the area that I'm coloring because that helps me stay inside the lines. And because I have my fat marker, if I use this edge, I will get a fat line on my paper and then I can color it in a little bit quicker. Look at that, if I use the skinny side, I'm gonna get skinny lines and it's not gonna fill up as quickly. And you guys are really gonna take your time. I'm sort of rushing a little bit, so I have a little bit done for you to see. Okay, so I have a purple stripe. The next one, maybe I'll make um, yellow stripes like this. Ooh, that yellow and purple, complementary colors, they are just popping. Okay, so I've done purple, then I've done yellow stripes. If I wanna repeat what I have, that means I have to fill in the next chunk with purple again. Don't forget your thumb. And again, coloring in one direction, trying to be nice and neat, staying inside my lines, okay? And that's all you're gonna do. You're gonna color both of your mittens. They can match or they can be mismatched. So on this guy, maybe I do purple and then yellow stripes purple, and then this one I do yellow, purple stripes yellow. It's up to you. Whatever you do, make sure that it repeats because it's not a pattern unless it repeats. And I have to see your picture. So if you're one of my current students, you need to upload a picture when you turn it in. You can put it in our Google Stream. Your parents can email me. You can show it live during one of our office hours. If you're not one of my students, show it to somebody because I know they'll be proud of you and your hard work. All right, guys, make sure you're staying safe, staying warm, you're being kind and being creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.